and there is another concept of versioning what is versioning versioning means you are keeping the changes to the mapping or changes to the workflow anything you can call it. So, okay so for example now i am using this okay if you are if tick mark is there that means it was checked out checked out means it is in enabled state. You will be able to do some changes to this particular mapping. Now, what I will do is whenever you are creating any mapping, you have to go right click on the mapping and you have to go to versioning option. You have to check in. Check in means, check in means, check in means what? You are committing it. That means you are saving it permanently. Okay. You are saving it permanently. So here, it is asking you to provide check-in comments. Okay. I have save for the first time. Okay. Save for the first time. Now click on okay. So it will check in. Now see here, your tick mark was gone. Right. Your tick mark was gone. That means it is not in editable state right now. It is checked in. If you want to do some changes, again, you have to do checkout. Checkout means you are telling to the system that I want to do some changes to this particular mapping. Now see here, if I want to make any changes here, I will not be able to do it here. See, everything is disabled. I can't delete it. I can't add it, right? Clear? So once you check in, that means it was committed. It will not allow you to make any changes. If you want to make any changes, what do you have to do? We need to check out. How to check out. How to do the check out? Again, Again. right click on the mapping go to versioning do check out do check out okay checking in to make some changes to make some changes you have to give proper comments so that you will come to know what kind of changes you did now see it was in editable mode now you can go here you can go here and you can make the changes see here go to coach everything is enabled if you want to delete anything you can do it or if you want to change some logic you can do it Okay, if you want to make some changes, you can do it. See here, coach. Now I'm coming here. Instead of using concat, what I can use? I can use the symbol. Flash. I can use okay the symbol to concatenate the data. All right. I can use the symbol to concatenate the data. It's okay. Apply. Okay. Now we have done this change. It will save like that only. Now what I will do? I'll just go ahead and again do the checking. It is giving the comments. Okay. Checking the checking in to make some changes to make full name logic change. You can give proper thing. Now if you see here, it was checked in, right? Your tick mark was gone. Okay. Now you can go here. And check the history. Check the history. So, how many versions are there for this particular mapping? Two versions. One is with the older logic, one is with the new logic. Like this, how many changes you do? If you are doing check in and check out, it will keep track of all the history. For example, I want to go back to the older logic. What I can do? So, if you see in the current logic, what you have? You have the latest logic in the latest mapping, right? You have yeah. the latest logic here. You see here, you have the latest logic, but I want to go back. So somehow this is not working properly. Just think like this logic is not working properly. So how you can go back to the earlier version. So you have to select the mapping. You have to select the mapping, go to versioning. You can go from here as well, or you can right click on the mapping and you can go from here as well. There are two options. Do go from here, right click on the mapping, go to versioning, go to view history or select the mapping, go to versioning option here select view history here it is coming so click on which version you want to go right click on it okay right click on it if you want to compare to the previous version previous version is not there you need not to do you can't do it but what you can do is uh, open in workspace will be there okay open in workspace see here if you open it it is 
version one was displayed. Version one was displayed. Now see here, what is the version one logic? See, concat is there. So this is how you will be able to get to the old logic. Clear? What is the purpose of versioning? What is the purpose of versioning? When we need to check in or when we need to save the data mapping. Uh, we are keeping keeping track of all the changes that we are doing over the point of time so that you can go back to the changes. You can go back to the respective changes at any point of time. Clear? Got it? So this is how check-in and check-out will work. Check-in means you are committing it. Check-out means you are taking it to make some edits to the mapping. Clear? So how to do the check-in or how to do the checkout? Right click, go to the mapping, right click on it and go to version and then you can click on checkout or check-in like this. For example, you did some check-in, okay? You um, want to make changes. I just wrote this now. Okay. Now it was in check checked out mode, right? But you don't want to do any changes or you have made some changes, but you thought like, okay, these are not making sense. So I'll just, uh, I'll, what I'll do is I'm adding uh, some spaces here. So I thought like it will make some sense, but after that, what I have done, okay, I clicked on okay. And then I saved it. It is saved, right? So now what I thought is I don't want to keep these changes. Okay, I don't want to keep these changes. What I need to do? Undo so to right click on it, go to versioning, undo checkout, undo checkout. So if you see here, what I have done, I have made some changes to the logic. I have done some changes to the logic. What I have added, I have added these many spaces after last name. So what I'm doing now, I'm thinking like these changes won't make sense. So I, do, I don't want to save these. So what I can do, I can go to versioning, undo checkout. It will ask you to whether you want to do it for sure. Then you can press yes. Then all those changes will go away. So it was going into checked in mode. Okay. Undo checkout completed successfully. Okay. The following objects have been reverted. Transformation, expression, underscore, full name, whatever is there, it was removed. So if you go and check here, it will be with the old logic only. So you don't have any spaces added in the last name. Clear about versioning? Yeah. So you can go back to any version that you want. So Informatica automatically keeping all the version. You need not to save the old logic and everything to refer it back. 